If I could tell my younger self one thing, if I had to audition for all of these summer intensives again, is to not worry about the name, don't worry about where your friends are going, just do you and everything will be fine. I'm so glad you're here because in today's video, I am going to be ranking ballet summer intensive programs. I already know that I'm about like a month and a half or like two months late to this trend, but I have been seeing all over my YouTube, all of these little like ranking charts and I just saw it. Let me put my little ballerina spin on it and it would be fun to share all of my thoughts and opinions when it comes to all of these ballet summer intensive programs. And while I haven't been to all of the programs that I am talking about today, I have been to some and for the ones that I haven't, I still got some of my opinions from my friends that have been there, from what I've heard, or even just like the audition process. I still got a lot to say. So if you are interested in hearing all of my thoughts and opinions and what I think and what programs that I went to as a ballet student, then make sure you are subscribed down below, like this video, and let's just get into the ranking. Separated it into five different categories and we have goals, fancy schmancy, serious business, for the memories, and just save your money. Let's talk about the summer programs that I actually went to before I start judging the ones that I haven't even been to. The first summer intensive program that I ever went to, I think I was like 13 years old, was the Herod Conservatory. Herod is in Boca Raton, Florida, and it's a sweet little summer intensive. I thought it was like the perfect first baby step into my summer intensive life. Herod is a great program. Since I was so young, I truly don't have any memories in that ballet studio. All of my memories are tanning at the beach or getting frozen yogurt after class or just like hanging around at the dorms. And while it was like a really, really great summer and I made a lot of friends that I like still talk to to this day, did I become this like prima because of Herod? Absolutely not. We are going to put this in the for the memories category. The next ballet summer intensive that I went to after Herod was actually the Houston Ballet Summer Intensive. And if you've heard anything about Houston summer, then you know that Houston summer is no joke. You have six classes a day. I think at Herod I had like four tops. You dance six days a week and it is a six week program. They are not playing around at Houston Ballet. Having an intense summer intensive is a good thing, but I'm just saying Houston is really, really, <laughs> really intense. I am going to put it in serious business because honestly, it is exactly that. After I went to Houston Summer, the next program that I went to was PNB Summer Course. I have a lot of opinions when I talk about my PNB experience. PNB was really like the first experience that I had dancing with other Balanchine dancers and teachers and it was definitely a shock. Although it wasn't like the most exciting or the most fun summer, I grew so much after I came back from PMB summer. I don't know what it was, maybe it was the teacher. And if you haven't watched my video that I posted last week where I roast all of my old ballet audition photos, watch that after this one. I show you two separate arabesque photos and the first arabesque photo that I show you was before PMB summer course and the second arabesque photo that I show is the arabesque photo after I came home from PMB. Those photos are like night and day. When I hear people say that they're going to PNB for the summer, I think goals. 
Then the last summer intensive that I went to after PNB was the Washington Ballet School summer program. That is actually where I ended up training year round after high school. I obviously have like a biased opinion when it comes to Washington, but I absolutely loved my summer in Washington. I think I'm gonna put Washington in goals as well. It was definitely a goal of mine to get into the year-round program and I'm just so happy that I went to the summer before I started in the year. The reason why I love Washington so much is that it still has that prestige and it's still attached to a professional company. At the same time, it still has that like smaller intensive environment. You get one-on-one -on -one coaching with the teachers. The class sizes are like 20 dancers. Not in this like huge room packed like sardines and the teacher doesn't even know your name until like the end of the summer performance. If you are a dancer that needs more of that one-on-one -on -one attention, I wouldn't tell you to go to a major program, but I'll talk about that a little later on the video because there are some companies in here that I can talk about for like years. Let's talk about Kansas City Ballet. I danced for Kansas City Ballet in their company. I started as second company and then I got an apprenticeship and then I made it into the full company. Similar to Washington, I have a soft spot for Kansas City, but I never went to their summer. When I think of Kansas City, I'm honestly going to put it in goals and I'm going to explain why. Obviously, Kansas City Ballet is not like the prestigious of all prestigious. It's not like PNB or ABT as far as companies go, but when you're talking about summer intensive programs, you need to be really specific about the goals that you are trying to accomplish in your summer. For me, it was always really important to pick smaller summer intensives where I could get the most out of the five weeks or six weeks that I was at that company. I think a major thing that dancers get caught up with is the name of a summer intensive or the name of the company that the program is attached to. I've seen it like time and time again that people just like go to this major summer intensive program and actually end up feeling like worse about their technique or worse about their dancing after the program because the teacher didn't look at them once because there was like 5,000 other girls in there. Let's talk about sweet little San Francisco Ballet, shall we? Okay, maybe I'm like feeling a little salty because like I actually never got into San Francisco Ballet. I swear, I auditioned for them like every single year and I just didn't make the cut. I just didn't make it and that's okay. I am going to put San Francisco Ballet in the fancy schmancy category because that's just what it makes me feel when I think of San Fran. Speaking of fancy schmance, let's talk about the Royal Ballet School Summer Program. It's only two weeks, but they are like highly, highly selective when it comes to who they accept into the program, and I think that is amazing. When I think of Royal, all I think about is fancy schmancy. I mean, you can't get fancier than Royal. Keeping it going. For this next one, I feel like I'm gonna piss a few people off, but we need to talk about it. The next summer intensive program that I want to talk about is ABT. ABT has about like 52 locations for their summer intensives. Like not actually, but like it feels like every major city has an ABT summer course. And there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe there is. ABT has a New York location, Orange County. I think they have a Tampa one. North Carolina. I don't know if they have other ones, but I'm sure they do that I'm just forgetting. Little story time. I got into ABT New York. I was 11 years old. So this was way before Herod or any of the other summer programs. We paid the tuition. We were about to pack my bag. And then all of a sudden, my parents and I were just like, do I really need to be flying to New York, being in a studio with 200 other girls where the teacher won't look at me for a single second? And at the very last minute, we decided not to go and went to just like a local summer intensive at like a local studio that summer. That was like the biggest blessing ever. I got more out of the local summer program 10 minutes by my house than I would have at ABT New York with a hundred other girls in the studio. For ABT, 
and I'm sorry if you're going there this summer, but I'm gonna put ABT Summer Course in this Just Save Your Money category. The next couple of companies or summer programs are pretty similar. Oklahoma City, I think that is a great summer program. It's a smaller program, very similar to Kansas City Ballet. You're gonna get that one-on-one -on -one attention, be a good summer, and the odds of you getting a year-round spot or a second company spot are much higher than if you were to go to a major company like San Francisco Ballet, where they choose like one person. I think I'm gonna go with For the Memories. It's not strict, it's not like super intense. I think you'll get great training there, but it's not so intense like Houston that you're gonna be like broken at the end of the summer. And I think that's very valuable. The next is Tulsa. Tulsa goes straight to the serious business category because not only is Tulsa a very intense environment, but the dancers in that ballet company are so talented. Although I didn't go to Tulsa Ballet Summer, I just have to assume that their standards of who they accept and who they don't are extremely, extremely high. Then we have Joffrey Ballet, and that is in Chicago. I'm telling you, every single person that I talk to about Joffrey Summer absolutely love it. Their studios are gorgeous. I really don't have anything bad to say about Joffrey, so I'm gonna just put Joffrey in goals, just because it was always a program that I wanted to go to, but I just like didn't end up having the time for, I don't know. I don't know, but I love it. I think, I think it's a great program. Let's talk about SAB before my camera dies because I got some opinions. The School of American Ballet is attached to New York City Ballet and the only way you can get into that company is going through SAB. The only way you can get into SAB is going through their summer. City Ballet is intense to say the least. When it comes to SAB summer, it's not as intense as you would think. My camera died and now it's nighttime. Okay, how we looking? SAB summer is like not intense at all and I just think that is like so surprising to some people. I honestly think they only have like two classes a day or like maybe three classes a day. I mean compared to like the six classes a day that I was doing at Houston summer for six weeks, that is like a walk in the park. Like that is like a vacation. So I'm gonna put SAB in the for the memories category. Although like SAB is this like prestigious name and it's like hard to get in and blah, 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 blah. The summer program is pretty much like a nice little fun summer in the city. Another place that I got waitlisted for. Good times. Moving on, and now of course my computer is gonna die. Okay, continuing. The next school that I wanna talk about is the Rock School. There are some amazing, amazing dancers that came out of the rock school, but they do have this like stigma in the dance world that they're like tricksters or like they focus a lot on tricks. Maybe that's just like word on the street. I'm gonna put the rock school in the save your money category. I don't know. I just feel like I would get so much more out of a summer intensive that is attached to a professional company, but they do have good teachers and there's amazing, amazing dancers that come out of the rock. So I don't want to hate on it too hard, but that's just my opinion. Then we have Miami. Okay, Miami City Ballet is obviously up there with some of the top companies. I don't know. When I think of Miami, I think of South Beach and a good time. And I don't necessarily think of like intense like Houston summer. I am just gonna put Miami in for the memories. Then we have CPYB, and this one, again, I am going straight to serious business because when I hear about the stories from CPYB, all I hear is how intense it is. Again, pretty much like going to a summer intensive for it to be intense, but I don't know, like it sounds really intense. <laughs> Maybe intense is good. Maybe I was just lazy. I don't know. Lazy ballerina club, kind of with the theme. Okay, we have Nashville Ballet and Nashville Ballet is pretty similar to Kansas City or Oklahoma. Nashville Ballet is another one that I would be a little nervous that they do let a lot of people in. So kind of what I was saying with like ABT summer program I might get lost in the shuffle when it comes to Nashville. I think I'm just gonna put this one in the for the memories because it's really not that stressful and I've heard Nashville is like a great city. The next summer program that 
that I'm gonna talk about is Ballet Met. Ballet Met was actually my first ever contract that I ever got, and that was for their second company program. If you want me to make a whole other video on how I got my contract or that process or what it was like, Leave a comment down below. I would love to talk about it. I think Ballet Met has a great summer program. It's very, very similar to Kansas City. It's similar to Joffrey, Washington. I think I'm just gonna put Ballet Met in gold. I think it's like a really solid program. Last but not least, we have Boston Ballet. When I think of Boston Ballet, I obviously think of fancy schmancy just because of the level that the company is at. The company is amazing. I mean, maybe I'm biased because I live in Boston. While the company is amazing and while I think Boston Ballet is great, I will say their summer program is on the bigger side. I don't know. I think I put Boston and goals. I feel good about that. It is a great program if your goals are to get into a year-round program or you want to get into your dream company going to that summer intensive is a great stepping stone to accomplish that dream. Wow, that was a lot. We just went through 18 different summer intensives. I just wanna say for the very last time, and then I will shut up because I've said it 10 hundred times, but it is so important to take the time and really think about the summer intensive program that will work best for you and where you're at in your training right this very moment. Maybe a certain particular program would be great for you when you are ready to get your first contract, but maybe you're not ready for that program yet. Taking that time to think about your goals and where you wanna be next year, or maybe if you're a little older and you're trying to get that year round spot, there's just a lot to think about when you're thinking about summer intensives, but the main thing that I want you to take away from this video is that your summer is such a valuable time for your ballet training, and I know it's important to work hard, and I know it's important to get into those big intensives or your goal intensive, but at the end of the day, the most important thing is that you are happy, and that you are in a place that values you and respects you and appreciates you and the worst feeling in the world is just getting lost in the shuffle and if i could tell my younger self one thing if i had to audition for all of these summer intensives again is to not worry about the name don't worry about where your friends are going just do you and everything will be fine. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment down below and let me know where you are going this summer. I would love to hear about it. Be sure you are subscribed down below if you aren't already. Like this video and I will see you next week. Bye guys!